Came up from scamming and swiping Still for my neighbor, I'm trifling Finna go cut me a rocket Ride a little bit like a bison Bitch in the booth, shawty look like she hiking I'm taking a liking, y'all texting, I'm piping I feel like Hey you guys, what's Gucci? It's your boy, SJ Hit out the first black super saiyan to arrive on this planet. I'm back here, gotta report this stuff for you guys. Gotta report this stuff for y'all. Gotta report this. Look, Takashi 6 9 transferred to new facility. Used for witnesses who cut deals. Alright you guys, look. Follow me on my Twitter. Follow me on my Instagram. Look, we are going to talk about this. We're going to talk about this. We're gonna do the article first, and I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel about this whole six nine situation. Let's get it. Six nine, six nine, six nine, man. Hey, six nine's dummy boy album would not be dropped due to reasonably obviously no. I was waiting for that album, so just for the purpose of turning up, because that's what the album is—a turn up album. So, I'm going to listen to it for the purpose it is. A turn up album. But look. Let's go ahead and get into the video. If you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Show your boy Kid out some love. The first black super saiyan to arrive on this planet. Let's get it. Bye. Takashi 6 9 Takashi. Oh my gosh, Takashi 6 9 Takashi 69 transferred to new facility used for witnesses who cut deals. That's 69 right here. He slimmed up a bit. Man looking a little slim. That's my man. Takashi 69 is transferred to a federal facility that is regularly used to house witnesses who cooperate with the feds. TMZ has learned. Uh, they obviously trying to get him to snitch. Uh, so, yeah, it's obvious. Sources connected to the new detention center tells TMZ federal authorities facilitated the transfer Wednesday night. Our sources say 6 9 specifically asked to be in the unit away from the Crips and the Bloods. 6 9s attorney Lance Lazar would not comment on whether his client is trying to cut a deal in return for spilling the beans on others in his racketeering case. He would only tell TMZ the transfer was, on, was for security reasons. Lazaro tells us 6 9 was getting threats from gang members at MDC. Uh, obvious we knew this was going to happen. Takashi was behind bars until Wednesday night at the Brooklyn Metropolitan De Detention Center where he was exposed to other inmates in general population and is now in a unit with neutral inmates, translation, no gang members. TMZ broke the story. Takashi was arrested Sunday night for alleged racketeering. Authorities claim he was involved in conspiring to commit armed robberies, drug deals, and shootings. They believe 6 9 personally committed an armed robbery back in April, among other charges that span over the last five years. The last five years? What? Takashi didn't become a huge relevant rapper until he started messing with Treyway. What? That was, he's 22. He couldn't have been with them ever since he was. Since he was 18? He wasn't even popping like this when he was 18. Uh, ah, I'm so confused by that. So, wait, so is he getting charged for stuff that he it wasn't a part of? Alright, that's what, whatever. Let's go, let's go. Look, you guys, let me talk about this. Let me talk about this whole 6 9 situation. From what I heard in the cases, let's start back with the whole pedophilia case. Now, what I heard from the pedophilia case, from my knowledge, is that 6 9 went to a kickback. 6 9 went to a kickback with some friends. His friends invited a young 13 year old girl, right? This 13 year old girl got up, willingly went to the home where the guys was at. She's chilling with them, drinking and stuff, yada yada yada. Blah blah blah, all that good stuff, blah 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 blah. So six nine was charged with having a half naked child in a video or picture. She was half nude. I don't remember anything regarding penetration. But you know, this one you you ask those things like how it is thirteen really? Or you know, cause I look at it like this. You at a party, right? If someone looks a certain age to you, and you're not quick. It's like you go to a kickback, right? A house party. You're not finna walk up to every single person and ask for ID. You're not. If they look the age, 
you ain't gonna ask for ID because people aren't gonna be all like, "Yo, bro, you a square? You a buster? I, I'm, I am who I, I am. What I say, I am." Especially if you're going to a party, it's like you going to a club. Like, hey, girl, can I get your ID? But that's if you for sure cannot. Can, that's if you for sure are contemplating what their age are. That's up to you. If you have to contemplate it, I wouldn't do it. But if you didn't have to, and you was like confident in it, well, go ahead. But still, if there's a case regarding penetration with this, let me know and hit me up. Send me that article if there was anything regarding him penetrating the actual girl. Because I remember he got charged for having a half-nude minor in a video. And I think he was, what, 17 or 18 at this time anyways? Yeah. So basically, fast forward, you blah, 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 to today. Takashi, been messing with uh, some gang members. Troy Way, some Troy Way gang members. Uh, Shoddy, who is, who was his man during the way? Shoddy. Um, so, so basically, when Takashi went on a breakfast club this recent, this recent week, no, last week, the feds went to went to Takashi Takashi Six Nine first to put him into into custody. The first the first goal of them was to put him into protective custody. But Takashi, you know, wanted to put on the gangster act. He turned it down, and said, "Y'all, y'all, y'all, no, 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 I ain't with it. I ain't with it." And you know, they that's when they hit him with those charges. Because their original intention was to put him in a protective custody. Takashi turned it down. Then they hit him with them charges. Yeah. Because Shoddy wanted... So they, they, they wiretapped Shoddy's phone. The man, the previous manager of 6 9 or someone, Something like that. It was somewhat like that. He said he felt super disrespected and wanted to super violate 6 9 when when they when the feds wiretapped Shoddy's phone. So boom, feds went to six nine first, and now we're all here. And this happened last Sunday, but now we're here. So basically, they're trying to get six nine to snitch. They're really trying to get him to snitch. They're most likely still gonna lock him up. Maybe give him less time, but they're still gonna lock him up. So even if he snitches, uh, they still gonna lock him up. You know. But six nine, you you did mess up. I'm not finna say he didn't. I'm not finna say he didn't. But if these charges stick and they actually relate to him as being a shot caller for these charges like they say he is like being in an armed robbery you know because they had one picture right a super blurry ass picture a blurry ass picture bro it, it was an image i've uh, bro it was an image it was blurry as freak bro and i'm like nigga that could be anybody in a gray sweater what you mean bro he's 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 so far away from the camera to where you can barely make out anything on his face. And I'm like, bruh. Bruh. That can be literally anybody. So look. 6 9 You messed up. We all make mistakes. I ain't finna get in here. And beat on you for it. You know. If you gotta serve your time. You gotta serve your time. Because there's a difference between somebody snitching on you. And you getting caught. Because it's like this. If my mom robbed a bank. I wouldn't even snitch on her at all. And I'd probably let somebody else slide. So, yeah. Because I keep the same energy, right? If I don't snitch on one person in her family, and you're not a friend, and you're a friend, I most likely won't snitch on you. I won't. But if you get caught, uh, there's nothing I can do. If I get caught, there's nothing nobody can do for me. So I wouldn't snitch on you. That's real talk. I wouldn't snitch. But look, 6 9 I definitely cannot fault you for giving back to the community. For all those who don't believe that he does, go on, look up his, you know, his. there's videos of him giving back to the community, walking out to everybody, giving them $100 bills. Here you go. Boom, 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 boom. Just helping out the kids and stuff, giving the kids some money. He gave, he was giving out money to individual children. He wasn't just giving it to the parents. Say, here you go. He was giving it to the kids and the parents. Say, here you go, here you go, here you go. Then that mom took that cash later. Give me that little boy. Ooh, give me that honey. We got grocery money for the week. We set. That's basically how it went down. But look, you guys, I listen, I listen to 6 9 I listen to 6 9 mainly for hype. Because that's what 
it is. That's what I take away from it. Six nine is hype. He's hype. Somebody I was talking to is like, right? And then there's like, yo, Takashi Six Nine is a whack lyricist. Nah, shit. I mean, no shit, bro. What you? He ain't Kendrick. He ain't Cole. I got Kendrick over Cole any day. But look. This, I listen to Kashi because it's hype music. I don't care if he's gang affiliated or not. I turn up to it. I turn up to YG's music, and we know YG Subu blood all day, and people bump YG. That's the crazy thing. People bump YG and talking about, oh, we don't listen to gang affiliates, but niggas out here bumping YG. Freak out of here, bro. If you listen to y- YG. You can bump you can you can bump some gang affiliate six nine hype stuff, some club party and music. Cause that's it. His music is club music. I'm gonna listen to it for the what the purpose of it is. I'm not gonna go to six nine and expect some J. Cole Kendrick level lyrical work. Like or some Joyner Lucas shit. If I want some Joyner Lucas shit, I'm gonna go to Joyner Lucas. If I'm if I want some logic shit, I'm gonna go to logic. Cause they're there. Lyricism isn't dead. The masses choose to promote what they want to promote. And I'll be real with y'all. I like lyricists. I do. I do. But I don't like that shit 24-7. Nobody's not going to go clubbing to a to a Joyner Lucas song, bruh. Nobody ain't finna go clubbing to that shit. I'm just, I don't, I rarely go to club. I, I don't go clubbing like that. But nobody ain't finna be clubbing to that shit. It's tight for the moment. And it's a very succe- successful craft but there's the reason why I can't listen to someone like Jordan Lucas or J. Cole that shit's 24-7 24-7 I like you to mix things up i rather for you to be a lyricist and a hype man I get a little bit of both and maybe you can throw in there that you do more genres of music or maybe you are uh, also a lyricist or maybe you can do rock music or maybe you can do reggae music or maybe you can sing boom i'm gonna go with the package i'll just take a package and you i still got you i still got you here but i'd rather go for a package because i listen to all kinds of music bro look my top five musician of all time is michael jackson no top six actually michael jackson kendrick lamar the temptations james brown xxx Tentacion. And Phil Collins, and you may be asking, "Yo, man, you your list your list kind of weak. It's lacking because this is my list, of my top five musicians, musicians I consider to be tight for me, because I can gravitate to their shit." I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm gonna be real with y'all. When I listen to rap music, when I listen to rap music, yes, you have lyricists, and yes, you do not have lyricists. Yes. I understand that. I understand that. But if you don't appeal to me, I'm not messing. I don't care. You can you can you can speak on some yo manage your finances. Wake up, the world is not the way it is, blah 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 stuff all day, all day. All day. I'm not saying you can't, but it's like I don't want to be policed. I I I know the world's a messed up with freak, bro. The world's messed up. There's only so much I can do. There's only so much we can do. Shoot, people talking about, look, you can never trust the masses to do anything. So you, as the artist, need to take it into your hands, and you focus on saving the world the best way you can. You can't trust the masses now. You can't trust the masses. You, Anybody who ever trusted the masses to make a decision, you set yourselves up. There's only a few people in society. That will make the correct decisions. The masses. The masses like shit like Venom. Movies. The masses like Playboy Cardi. The masses. Are part of the hashtag Me Too. And they'll try to take down any man. Even if they didn't do it. And if if what they did was so little. They try to blow it up. You can't trust the masses. You can never trust the masses. Ever, ever, 
There's only a select few you can probably trust to make the wise decisions in society. I'm not saying the government. I mean the select few in the masses. Not the government. But you can't trust the whole mass. Because the mass like movies like Venom, Transformers, and you trust them to make your dis make trust them to choose. They're going to choose what they like. They're going to choose what they like. Because the masses are not like everybody else who cares about a certain amount of quality. Now, I like quality in music. I do. I do. I do. I do. Because you give me a song, right? I don't care if it's short or not. As long as it's over, hit that shit over a minute. You get in there, do what you gotta do. Hit me with your beat. Say what you gotta say. Whether it's gonna be some lyrical shit or whether it's gonna be some hype shit. Then, boom. I hear it, I'm drawn in, I'm ready for the next. Because, yes, somebody who's non-lyrical could be talking about drugs, women, bitches, yah, 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 yah. Talking about all the bad things. Talking about all the bad things. Yada, yah, yah. Like, we haven't heard people rap about this stuff before, bruh. We heard people rap about this. The gangster rappers. We heard them rap about this. We did. We did. Just because these new people doing it. Don't get on them for it because these people that are coming out that are new grow up in neighborhoods where that stuff was promoted. People need to people need to stop forgetting how these neighborhoods are ran. Stop promoting the gangster rap, the gangster shit. Stop promoting gangster shit. Cause shit, would you rather have a have a thug ass nigga going around robbing people, shanking people, killing people, stealing from people, or would you rather get a sad boy, a sad boy? That you can easily, that you can easily take and fix, other than this thug dude that's just probably gonna take you years to fix. Probably gonna be drugged out on some shit, blah blah blah, and you need to fix this man. So you pick your poison. You pick your poison. You pick your poison. Cause either way, either way, either way, if you're a gangster rapper, you just as controversial. As a guy who's a sad boy in our new generation. You're just as controversial. Just as controversial. I don't care if you over here said like, Oh no, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a killer. And I'm a gangster. And I'm a shooter. But I don't be doing no suspect stuff. But you a killer, a gang member. But you don't do no sus stuff. Bruh. You a killer. Freak out of here. <sighs> You doing just as you doing just as much as effed up shit as this person over here. So look, stop with all the gang shit and rap. That shit should have never been in it, anyways. But hey, but hey, you know that's why I jump to other genres of music. I just don't stay in one genre. I just don't hop genre hop to different music, and that's just real. Six nine. Good luck with you. Look, I'll be real with y'all. Life in prison, psh, bruh, I couldn't do it. Get that. <sighs> yeah, I ain't finna. I'm finna end it before I have to go in there, bro. I'm just saying. You ain't. Uh. Life in prison. You need to worry about not getting raped. You need to worry about not getting shanked. There ain't no way to live for life. That ain't even. I uh, look. There's no point, <laughs> bruh, is, if you're going to be in there for life, there's literally no point in you trying to stay strong in there. Like, if you want to give it, if you want to give up and just, I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even be mad at you. Life in prison, bruh, and you around bums that want to try and rape you. That's why one thing I never agreed with. Look, it's totally fine with you being homosexual. It's totally fine. But if you willingly want to rape another person, just because of to meet your sexual needs, I'm over here like, bro, that is so that's so weird. That's so weird, especially in prison. Like you talk about you a thug, you go in there, you gonna talk about I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna breach your booty hole, bro. I'm gonna gape I'm gonna gape your booty hole, and bro, I'm gonna do some weird shit. And you over here like, bro, I thought you was a thug, but there's nothing wrong with them being homosexual. That's where that's where consent comes in, like you know, consent, like real shit, consent. Like, you over here taking people's cheeks and stuff. And I'm over here like, bruh. Consent, my brother. 
I don't care if you're in jail or not. They need to stop that in jail. That's not even cool. That's really not cool at all. If they supposed to be thug. So I guess uh, being a thug is sus now. You know, because the prisons de help develop thugs too. I guess you being a thug is suspect. I mean, when people walk around sagging their pants, I mean, it is always has been low key suspect. You know, the people, the reason they used to sag their pants was because, you know, it was like, it was like, hey, you know, I'm going to let you inside, bro. Huh. So, you know, the whole thug culture is sus. Everybody out here who been sagging their pants trying to be tough, they've been sus. Like, what you mean? And people get on other people for being a little bit, a little hint of sus, but they sag their pants. That's freaking crazy, bro. 6 9 good luck, bro. Good luck. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. That's all I can do. Good luck. Uh, if the charges don't stick, free my man 6 9 If the charges do stick, 6 9 you got to serve your time. But good luck, bro. Hope you pull through. Deuces, everybody.